How's it going, lads? Marshall here. Welcome back to another review. We've got a flashback name right today, guys. The dynamic images from his Santos days, and that is where it flashbacks to. Now, we're going to review Neymar. A lot of people are interested whether, you know what, should I do this Neymar da Silva Santos Jr. Flashback card in Paris Saint Germain. Former Santos, of course, and that's where the image is from. Should I do this SBC for minimum 250? That's his minimum right now. The maximum is about 270. Should I do that or just keep the normal? <laughs> Some people even say, should I keep the winter wild card and trade all? Obviously, you keep that card. But the main question is here um, whether his gold cards or this card, because they're the most similarly priced. If you look at the price of the winter wild cards and the other versions of Neymar. I mean, this is like 10% of the value, you know what I'm saying? So, in that aspect, well worth it compared to his special cards, but is he worth it compared to his, his normal card? That's going to be the main question of day, and if we can answer it, hey, happy days! Guys, if you do enjoy this review, I want to see your opinions, man. Leave your opinions on Neymar in the comment section below. Whether you think this is value, whether you think this is viable, or whether you think this is actually a good card, or if you've already done it, leave me your experiences in the comments section below. Now, straight away, you do see one of the glaring differences between the cards. Four-star weak foot. He doesn't have a five-star weak foot. Now, personally for me, five-star is not a necessity. Not a necessity. Four-star is usable. Three-star, you're pushing it. Two-star, get out the house. Uh, he's got five-star skills, high to medium work rates, and he is five foot nine. His position is the exact same, he's a left winger, so he's a left sided player, so not much has changed there. As for his stats, things have moved around guys, things have moved around, and I'm actually going to bring up the, the certain website right now, to kind of compare and contrast and give you guys a rough idea. So in comparison to uh, the 91 here guys, and this is his normal cards from the 87, in comparison to the other one there's no real uh, comparison, but Pace wise, compa compare, compared, compared to the 90 boys, the 91. Wait, actually, I'll bring up the 91 and then I'll bring up the 87 and get all the stats up for you guys. So the 87 has plus four acceleration and plus five sprint speed. Yes, his pace has actually went up from his normal cards, which is four ratings higher. His dribbling has went up and went down in certain areas. Uh, minus one in terms of dribbling, ball control, and reactions with minus six. Or oh, it's not minus eight. It's actually, I think it's minus eight, boys. In terms of composure. So again, you look at that and you think, nah, I'm not too certain. But his agility's gone up. And so has his balance by a lot, by the way. The balance. His shooting has went up tremendously. It's actually went up two overall. Four positioning, two finishing. Six in terms of shot power. And you guys know how much I value shot power in this game. Three for long shots. Volleys went up by two. Penalties have went down. Who cares about penalties, man? The passing is went down across the board. That would be the main difference you see between the cards apart from the five star weak foot and also the stamina. This one has nine stamina on the normal cards. That is a very, very high. So you look at that and you think, you know what, this actually could be worth it. So you look at these cards, right? 97 acceleration, 94 sprint speed. I used to finish a chem style on them because I want them to be super responsive, which I believe a finisher chem style will make them super responsive. Uh, 99 agility. 95 balance, 99 dribbling, so he should be responsive given that his acceleration is also really, really high at 97. And this also enhances a lot of his shooting stats because in the position I'm going to play him, tonight he was left striker. Obviously, he'd normally be a cam for myself. Tonight he was left striker, so I knew he was going to get chances to score and I want to en enhance his chances to score. Since his composure went down, I might as well enhance his finishing, shot power, etc. So positioning. 90 to 95, finishing goes to 99 from 85, shot power goes to 96 from 86, and the volley's tremendous increase there to 98, and he's long shot to 84 as well. Passing, like I did say, has been depleted a lot. That is st still usable in this game. I know it looks quite low in the 80s and stuff like that. 85 vision, <laughs> it's better than most cams on this game, you know what I'm saying? Shot pass 80, a long pass 75, I'm not going to be switching the play with a cam anyways, it's just not going to happen. Curve is decent at 82, and crossing the 80, that's not bad. Especially if you use semi-crossing, which I would recommend to you guys. Dribbling, utterly sensational. The only stat you can criticise in it is the composure, but apart from that, unbelievable dribbling on this card. And of course the stamina increase, uh, strength 50, 50 at aggression, I mean it is what it is. Uh, in terms of the traits, he's got no finesse shot, but he does have the outside of foot shots will actually come in handy way more than the one with the five-star weak foot. Because with a five-star weak foot, you don't need the outside of foot shot. Because when you get a chance in that area, 
he'll sense it with his five star weak foot, you know what I'm saying? But with the outside of foot shot, if you're cutting in from the right hand side and you get into that angle where you can take it with the outside of his foot, he'll take it with the outside of his foot. He is injury prone as well, and Flair is a great trait to boot. Guys, we're going to get in the gameplay now. May I warn you, may contain some movement that is rarely seen on FIFA. This card is so responsive, it actually nearly made me sick. So here we go, lads, in to the gameplay. Honestly, so uh, some of the times, right, I turn with this card. You're not going to see, like, finished products each and every single time, because I'm testing out... Uh, quite, look at that, man, it's so quick. Quite, quite a lot of different things to his game, from his dribbling to his first touch to um, certain movements on and off the ball. I'm trying the majority of it out, because I, I could do a review, guys, where I score five tap-ins. You're not going to see anything different from the player, I could do, I don't know, a review where I last 45 minutes in the game. You're not going to see anything different from the player to the normal usage of every single top tier player in this game. You're not going to see anything different. So I like to mix it up, see what he's like from certain angles, left foot, right foot, this, that and the other, and uh, see, see his dribbling in general. Even the passing avenues he can get into and thread the through balls through. So in this review, you'll see pretty much everything. I, I dribble to my heart content. I get tackled, but that's what it is when I'm trying to take on 50 million players at once. Um, yeah, boys, he's so responsive. Look at stuff like that, right? Everything is under control at all times, and it's so quick as well, man. The second you turn with this card, he, he's already turned before you've turned. It's very, very strange with this card, how responsive it actually is. Because there, I, I just twiddled the stick. I'm not even going to lie to you guys, but it's unbelievably responsive. Take it past this guy, and I just keep going. <laughs> I don't know how I haven't been dispossessed yet. Go for a rainbow flick and then some flicks. Fake shot is gorgeous and he does block it. But how about this for a finish by Akari, by the way? The drag back back heel. Interesting, very interesting. Um, right, you can see the play information on the left-hand side and the pros and cons. Uh, let's get through his play information then, because obviously a lot of you guys, um, you'll probably want to know if the, the lack of a five-star weak foot matters. No, you just see that there. That's, what, that's his weak foot, guys. Left foot, back of the net. Does it matter? No. Like, five-star weak foot, like, it's, it's a luxury for many cards in this game, right? The five-star weak foot. Is it a necessity? No, you can sk still score chances like that. Obviously, a five-star weak foot comes in clutch way more often from outside the area, right? So, say if you're on, like, the right-hand side of the pitch and you're right-footed and you cut inside with five-star weak foot and you want to finesse it in the far corner, he's probably got more chance of doing that the knots. Lads, you've just seen another five-star weak foot volley there. It's not even with a five-star weak foot, it's with a four-star weak foot. So if you're kind of worried about the lack of five-star weak foot, do not be. It does not matter, and I'm telling you straight uh, exactly from that. And even the chances he, he does get with his left, he's scoring anyways. And um, oh, that's so close as well. He, he's playing on the left wing, slash cam, slash left forwards. So you're obviously going to get the majority of chances on your right foot anyways. You're going to cut inside from the left, finesse it with your right, shoot with your right, this, that, the other. And he's not going to utilize the four-star weak foot too often anyways. So honestly, in my personal opinion, the four-star weak foot on Neymar, the reducement from five-star weak foot does not matter in any which way, shape, mean or form. Uh, it is completely fine. Honestly, so fine. It's uh, it's not it's not even an issue with the card. We're trying along with straight there. Good save by the keeper. His shots are very accurate. Very accurate. I think you've just seen one off target, and that was the volley from a certain angle uh, just beforehand. This card's ridiculous responsive, man. Even angles like this, I'm still getting tackled. He's very weak, by the way, but somehow we still managed to get past many players, even though I'm not trying to. I'm trying to obviously retain possession there, but I'm not actively trying to like, outstrengthen the opponents. And somehow, I come out with the ball the majority of the times. We get a chance here with Neymar, go for the chip. It's going to hit the crossbar and come back out on that occasion. Uh, the pros and cons then, boys. Dribbling. It's the best thing about this Neymar. And you'd argue the best thing about the other Neymar as well. Agility, pace, finishing is all there with this guard, man. This guy's very good in front of goal. Give him a chance. Majority of time, you will find the back of the net. We get a chance then, near post, easy as you like. Responsivity. Utterly sensational, utterly sensational. And of course, this guy's got more stamina than his original card, and he can go all game long. I'm talking like 120 minutes plus. This guy, his stamina will not deplete. Guys, with that being said, let's get in the summary, and let's give you my overall thoughts on Neymar. So there we have them, lads. That was Neymar. You're back on the squad screen where we started, but I'm actually live now. Okay, I can move about and stuff like that. Neymar was utterly amazing for me. Utterly amazing. Like, literally sensational. I showed you a lot in the review. Obviously, I didn't just show you goal, 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 because 
It's pretty pointless, I'm not going to lie. Everyone scored goals in this game, even bronze plays. So I want to kind of show you a little bit more than that, how responsive he was. Uh, certain passes, certain runs he makes, if he's five-star weak parts, or lack of it, even matters. And I think I showcased the majority of you guys today to get a, a really good opinion of this card. Um, he's amazing, he's amazing. But the main question will always come down. I don't know why I elongate that word to always. But um, yeah, it'll always come down to... This card or his normal cards? So that, that's always going to be the question here, guys. Um, no matter how you look at it, right? So we go Brazilians. I'm actually going to go PSG as well. We're going to we're going to narrow it down, guys. We're going to have a, a look at the normal in this one. Just kind of got a comparison to his base stats. Marquinhos, man, you're in the way. So you do see on the left-hand side of your screen, because we do take the pros and cons away for this section, uh, the increase on the flashback, Neymar. Now, it doesn't tell you the whole story because certain stats have been increased, certain stats have been decreased, and still stats go up and down. So, 95 pace is faster than the actual Neymar. Uh, 91 pace on Neymar Jr., the original red gold cards. 95 on this one. Um, the other one's got more dribbling, right? But he's got less agility and balance. That, for me... Makes this one quicker on the ball than the original Neymar, the 90, 91. So, in my eyes, the 90... No, no, no. 87. It is 87, right? The 87, for me, is ahead on his speed on the ball. And you guys might think, ah, it's my new. You just fix that with a chem style. It's weird. It's very weird because I've used that Neymar many times. I'm guessing you guys have as well. I've used actually every single Neymar. Not every single Neymar has made the challenge in terms of review. Um... But I have used every single version. This one seems very, very quick, man. It doesn't even make sense. Like, super quick. But I think it's the increase in the agility and balance that makes him feel that super quick. The downside is that his composure has been taken away. But the upside is that his shooting's been increased. It's bizarre. It is very bizarre how this one feels faster. And I'm talking about the flashback feeling faster than, than a 91 rate, which is... Literally four ratings higher. It's a madness at times. That's why I like different varieties of cards in this game. Defendants went up by one. I, I don't think anybody cares. Nah, nobody cares. The passing is the main difference between the two cards as well. That Neymar Jr. 91. Amazing passing. Way better passing than the flashback Neymar. But the thing is, even with that decrease of six, the flashback is still very adequate when it does come to passing the ball. So again, that doesn't really matter. The main difference, obviously, where you probably say, ah, the five-star weak foot then. It took away the five-star weak foot. Honestly, and I showed you that in game as well, does not make the difference in the slightest. Not in the slightest. You can score volleys on his left foot, you can score from angles on his left foot. It doesn't matter. It generally doesn't matter. So the weird thing is, I personally, right now, in this second, I prefer to play with the flashback. And you're literally looking at me thinking, you're bonkers. You're generally bonkers. But for me, this card is quicker. And I don't, un well, I, I, I guess it's because the acceleration, agility, balance kind of combination. But surely with a chem style, you can just do that to the normal one anyways. It's bizarre. This one feels super quick in game. Obviously, you can turn like that with the normal cards. It just doesn't feel the speed as this one. Which again, it doesn't make, it's very hard for me to put in this words. Because you look at the stats, you think, oh, they're very, very similar. This one feels quicker for me, and I'm not too certain why. Not too, too certain, but uh, <laughs> that's probably a terrible explanation for myself. But that's like generally one of the only ways I can explain it. And plus with this one, the outside of foot shot is way more, well, actually usable now. It's actually usable compared to a five-star weak foot player. Uh, dude, this, this he's very, very good. It's just when, it's going to come down to price, right? Uh, the current price on the market uh, for, the, for the value of this SBC is 250 minimum on the Xbox and PlayStation. 270 maximum. Now, I believe, and again, I'm covering quite a bit here, boys, uh, that the normal is under 200k now. It's actually bounced back up from 17 something. It's on 196 on PlayStation, so roughly like 200k, and uh, 150 on Xbox. So, um, it's difficult. It's, it, it is very difficult because you guys can see, I ah, just get the normal one. It, it, oh, man, it, I, don't, I don't know what it is because. I know fine well, a lot of you guys have fodder out there. Fodder, fodder, fodder for days. This could be in the shape of untradeable cards, could be in the shape of like former SPCs that you don't use anymore. 
and that would take the price of this card down significantly. So, when it comes down to it, it's literally just your choice. Do you want this card, or do you want these normal cards? I, I think that the experience between the two is very, very similar. Very similar. It's just this one's a little bit faster, and that is it. Plus, this one's got way more stamina as well, so it can probably last longer than the 91 rated. The overall rate for myself in 3, 2, 1. Haha! <laughs> Santos! I'm not pointing at my boobs, boys, or my nipples, or anything. I'll probably get demonetized just for saying that. But uh, I'm not pointing at those. I'm not pointing at the desk or my controller, anything like that. I'm pointing at his overall rating. The large number is his overall. That's a 9.5 for myself. Um, he's got literally everything to be effective and meta on this game. And I've got to say, he is exactly that. His enjoyment is a 9.9 .9 for myself. These kind of cards, especially the types of name arts and stuff like that, responsive cards are always enjoyable. But when you add in the flair, the five-star skills, the agility, the dribble, and the ability to take anyone on in the game, it just increases that ninefold. So 9.9 .9 for myself right there. And the value for coins, I'm giving an 8.8. .8. Honestly, when I seen this flashback coming out, I kind of got scared, right? Because I thought, you know what, the, the other one was, I think the other date was 300, and then it dropped to 200. And I thought, they're gonna price this too high, it's gonna be above 500K. I think they've actually priced it roughly okay. So 8.8 uh, .8 for myself, and you might be thinking that's a bit too high, the 250 to 270. But if I had to choose right now, which of these cards, and this isn't even bias or BS or anything that uh, you wanna say, I choose this one. Simply because he feels that a little bit faster. And he's got more stamina as well. Obviously, the other card has better stats in certain areas and a better weak foot. But it's not really that much needed, man. A weak foot's a luxury. Let's just say that. Five-star weak foot's a luxury. I, I think a necessity is four-star. And uh, he's got the necessity. And it it's way better than, like... He will score the chances on that side with his left foot. You've seen it in the gameplay, man. It's just if he was on this side and you're cutting in with... Um, it's normal card, like a five-star weak foot from the right-hand side, and you finessed it with his left, you've got more chance of scoring compared to this Neymar. But it's just, it, it all just fine, the can't speak. It all depends on the kind of thing in the match, right? If you play him on the right, you may want to just keep the normal one. You play him on the left or can, I'd probably go this one. That is my personal opinion. And I reckon this guy could be, be actually better at striker as well. He, he's got some great finishing stats, great finishing stats, despite the lack of composure. Everything else through the roof, mate. By the way, I just want to make sure as well with the composure thing because I'm not sure. I think he's got way better composure, right? Yeah, 93. I, I, I just wanted to see if I read that wrong because if I hadn't read it wrong, yeah, there, there would have been wars in the comments. Uh, it's eight difference in composure. Does it affect his finishing? No shot, no shots, guys. That's gonna be it for the review of Neymar Jr. Flashback 87 on the channel tonight. So if you do enjoy, uh, please leave a like, drop a comment as well. I'm trying my best, boys. I'm trying my best to uh, <laughs> to make this channel good. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to do these in-depth reviews, put my all into these reviews. I'm, I'm not just playing a game and then just giving you my snap opinions. Um, I value you guys like to, to try and do a good video or give you my honest thoughts of the cards. I, I, I know I shouldn't be saying this because I respect everyone that does reviews. But the thing is, the shorter the reviews are getting shorter and shorter and shorter as years goes on. Before long, we're gonna see someone look at a card and call it a review. That's just the way it's it's going at the moment in time. It's not a good path, but I think that's gonna be it because you guys gotta realize, right? With YouTube, especially in the player reviews bit, search results are key. Search results are key, and the faster you get that video uploaded, the higher up the search results you go. You go at the top of the search results. That's just the way it is. It's been like that a number of years, and that's why a lot of people's coming to the scene, dropping reviews everywhere. But uh, they seem to be getting shorter and shorter and shorter. It's kind of concerning me, boys. Before long, we'll literally have someone look at the card and say, there's a review, and it's up in two minutes. And I, I don't know if that's a direction that uh, the algorithm's going to favor, but I guess we're going to see. Because it will happen. It will happen the way it's going. But guys, that was my thoughts on Neymar Jr. Oh, by the way, fair play to everyone that does that. You've got to play the system. But, um, yeah, I, I just worry about the future of reviews and the content and reviews anyways. But guys, thank you very much for watching. Like if you've enjoyed this one. Leave your thoughts on Neymar in the comment section below. I'm sorry for babbling on so much. 
uh, in the outro, but I had a lot to say about this card. Simple as that. Thank you very much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Hope you had a great day. Newcastle won, so I certainly had a great day, boys. Thank you very much for watching. We'll catch you in the next one.